Hey y'all, it's Julie. Welcome to Hello Monday. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to be using the Many Thanks die to create this faux embossed effect. It's a really neat thing to do with your dies if you don't have an embossing folder that has the image or the sentiment that you want to use. So I'm going to start by taking a clean unused dryer sheet. I opened it up completely and then folded it in half and then folded it in half again so I had four layers thick. Then I put my cardstock on top and I took the mini thanks die and I just put the thanks over the cardstock because that's really the only piece that I need to die cut multiple times at this point. And because I'm using this dryer sheet, it's going to enable me to eject the die from the paper very easily without needing to use a pokey tool or the pokey holes because that dryer sheet is actually going to grip the die cut and the negative and the waste and everything to it so I can just pop the die out and move it up run it through the big shot again and again and again until I have the whole thing die cut so now I have a whole bunch of these things and I'm just going to trim the crossbar at the top of the T there so that they're pretty uniform in length instead of some of them are going to you know longer than others so now that I have those trimmed down I have a whole bunch of die cut things at my disposal disposal. And on my first card, I started out like this. I grabbed my fine tip glue applicator bottle and I put little tiny dots of glue on the back of this whole thing. And then I mounted it in place and took my wax paper. And then I realized as I was doing this that this was going to take me forever. And then I remembered something that Lori Willison had shared. And that's using the Craft Bond uh, spray adhesive by Elmer's. And she has a pair of tweezers. I had an extra pair of tweezers that I don't use all that much anymore. Um, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do this. And I grabbed a box and I gripped that die cut piece with the tweezers uh, to, and held it up to the back side there in my box to catch the overspray, sprayed it with the adhesive, and lickety split. It was coated with adhesive. I could pop it down on my cardstock and then burnish it with the wax paper, make sure all the edges were down securely. And this went so much faster than any other method of gluing down lots of die cuts that I've ever used. And so from now on, oh, that bottle of Elmer's, uh, Spray adhesive is my best friend. So now I'm going to create the butterfly embellishments for this card by um, stamping some multiple butterflies from Up the Happy onto a quarter sheet of watercolor paper. I already prepped it with an anti-static pouch. And then I stamped the first row with the Versamark ink. And then I'm going to apply some Hero Arts gold embossing powder. I love this gold. It's a nice, bright, happy gold. And because I stamped the first row, I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to see the second row and I would overlap my butterflies. And I remembered this tip by Nicole McGurk. And she applies embossing powder to the first uh, images that she has stamped. And then she can see where to stamp the other one so she doesn't end up um, creating too little space or overlapping her images when she needs to have them separated. So uh, two great tips from two awesome stampers. Thank you so much. And so now I'm going to apply more gold embossing powder to the rest of those butterflies and get them coated. And then I'm going to preheat my heat tool for about 30 seconds, make sure it's nice and hot. And then I tossed this piece of watercolor paper into a cardboard lid and I'm just going to heat it up there and uh, get those all embossed all at the same time. I'm just going to make sure that the heat embossing uh, powder is nicely melted and evenly finished so that I don't have any granular spots showing. And then I'm going to do some watercolor and I'm just quickly using the Clean Color Real Brush Markers. These are by Zig and they're super fun because you can paint right over the top of the embossing lines. They're water-based and I'm just scribbling very quickly back and forth with the um, tips of the markers and then I'm going to apply the colors that I want and then take my wet a Pentel Aquash pen. This is a water brush that has water in the reservoir or the barrel there. And I'm just going to spread that color around and blend the colors very quickly. And I have some paper towel there so I can blot the tip if I have too much water on the tip or I get too much color or too much water down on my butterfly. I can soak up the excess there with my paper towel. So I'm just going to keep on coloring all of these butterflies in the same fashion. I was kind of hoping for a two-tone effect. So I've got some colors that work well together like that bright happy green and that deep dark blue there and when you blend them together you can end up with teal or if you want you can keep them a little bit less blended and have more of that deep dark blue showing so I just kind of played around with it and I was happy with how this went it was so fast and so easy and then uh, I waited till it was dry and then I came in with a wet q-tip 
and lifted off any of the ink that might have been sitting on the embossing lines, the gold embossing lines there, so that I'd have a nice clean finish and I wouldn't accidentally smear any ink that was sitting um, on top of the embossed line. So I'm just going to quickly finish up here and then I'm going to go over to my Big Shot and there's a matching die for this butterfly in the Up the Happy die set and I'm just going to die cut all of these butterflies out. I didn't know how many I would need for the card I was creating. And as you can see here, I'm coming back in and adding a little bit more blue. I decided I wanted less teal and more blue. So I'm just going to come in and add a little bit more till my eyes are happy. And then, like I said, I'm going to go over to my Big Shot and die cut all of these butterflies out. Now at this point, I have all my butterflies die cut, and I decided I only needed two for this particular design. And I die cut many thanks, also from black cardstock. And I'm just playing around with the placement of these butterflies because I want many thanks to go a little bit over the top of them. So once they're anchored down on the card front, I'm gonna take many thanks back over to my box with the tweezers and apply some spray adhesive to the back of it and then get it mounted into place. And I'm lining up the thanks portion over the top of one of the white thanks that were, are already glued down to the card front. It's kind of hard to see because it's white on white there. And then many is going to get anchored down over the top of those butterflies. And I'm just going to use my wax paper again to burnish everything down and make sure that it's all anchored to the paper surface. And then I actually die cut many thanks two more times from black cardstock. And again, use spray adhesive um, to the back on those and mounted them in the exact same fashion. And wow, did that speed things up tremendously. It's a great effect and I love that layered look of all those dyes there. Now for one last bit of bling, I'm gonna take some Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Sequins. I love these sequins, I go through gobs of them and I'm just gonna swipe them through some multi-matte uh, multi-medium in the matte finish and just anchor those down and here you can see the finished effect much clearer with that faux embossed look and then the triple thick many thanks in black. I love this look. It's so fun and so much easier to do now with spray adhesive. We have more still shots available at the classroom blog and all the supplies are available at ellenhudson.com. Thanks for watching.